what is going on guys welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do a settlement tour for you guys I've seen other people do this and it seems like it's pretty cool um, right here on the bridge just sanctuary that's where my base is um, I've got the gates I just put these gates right here because they just make sense although people don't close them but whatever um, I've got this turn right here kind of facing I don't have anything down in this area here yet um, I just don't feel the need to at the moment, um, because I don't, I think I only have, let's look here, um, I don't think I have, but maybe 20, yeah, 20 people at the moment, so I don't feel the need to kind of have anything down here, um, only thing I have kind of outside of the main area, I guess, is this crop area, I mean, this is literally filled with crops. That took a while to do. I will say that right there. That took a while. Um, and maybe this house maybe has a bed in it. Yeah, this house has a bed in it. But otherwise. So these are like the um, watchtowers. I just have these kind of here. Um, I've got a light right here that doesn't work. I've got um, a light turn and a heavy turn here. And then I've got that turret down there. I've only got maybe three turrets. I don't think I have any more than that. I just don't... I've not I've not been attacked yet by raiders. Not been attacked yet. Um, then here is where the house where you start out in. I've got the little... Uh, this is a scavenger table. Um, and then I kind of put the... Uh, I attracted a brahmin. So I put the brahmin in here. But it keeps kind of glitching through the fences. So I might have to work on something there. Um, I put this little trader thing here. It just generates a little bit of money for me. It actually generates a lot of money for me. Um, then over here is just kind of the main, I guess, the main, the main area. Um... That's about it there. Then here's my warehouse for all my power armor. I have 19 suits of power armor. Quite a lot. Um, I've got a generator right there. Um, I've got some lights. I have lights in certain areas, and I don't have it in other areas. Um, I don't think I have anything in this house at all. I've got some, I just got beds and lots of houses. And I don't know why that one's floating, but it is. Whoa. Okay, that is a weird glitch. Um, we'll, get to my, we'll get to my house last that I've built. Um, it's not done yet. The top floor is done, but the bottom floor isn't yet. It's kind of one of those things I'm slowly working on. Um, these houses don't have anything in them, really. Nothing really has a lot of things in it yet. It's just kind of been a slow go. But I'm probably going to restart another uh, fallout. Um, here is the one of the decks, and I have protecting my house um, one, two, three uh, turrets. It's my house only. I have protecting. Um, I don't know. I like it. I've got like a little. I don't know what to call this, but this little living room set up. It's not done yet, so don't judge me on uh, how barren it is in here. Um, but I've got four couches and two TVs. Um, I've got lighting all on here. I've got like five generators on this, on back, right back here. I think four or five, something like that. Um, right here we've just got like a random, I put hollow tags of people, um, and again, I actually have a name. So, I put those there. Dance, uh, Clark, and, uh, Rylan, I would guess. And here is the area that is finished, actually, and looks pretty nice to so, uh, to my way, I think it does. Um, we've got this back deck right here. We've got a stairway down. There's the things I've got. Okay, I've got four generators back here. They're medium sized generators. Um, we've got a jukebox. We've got that in, uh, the beds right there. We've got this. I put in this. I put all um, clothing items in this one. And then beside the bed, I've got uh, a gold-plated lighter, um, two boxes of cigars, 
an alarm clock that's fallen over. Um, right there we've got that, that right there. Um, we've got that. We've got a turret right there. We got a radio. A perfect up permit. We've got some. That we've got some mini nuke pieces right there. Uh, an unused lighter, an unused ashtray, undamaged cigarettes. We've got a, the gilded grasshopper thing. It's from one of the quests. I picked it up and put it in here. A, uh, a league bowling pin, chessboard, flower pot thing, some pre-war money, another radio, an undamaged American flag right there. And this is where I put all of my food items that I don't want to carry. Um, and then I, this one I put any kind of... Um, I put all my mods inside of this one. And then I put all weapons that are in, I don't personally want to use at the moment inside of here and then if I'm going to sell stuff I put all of my weapons that I want to keep right here which are these are all mine inside of here that I carry with me everywhere in this game um, then we've got an antique globe we've got a terminal right there that I don't use at all um, two discs kind of set up in a L-shaped form with that filing cabinet there um, then we got the red rocket place right there which I've got to go down there and get dog meat I just haven't done it yet um but, I don't know. Ooh, that had to hurt. That blood splatter, though. So. Yeah, but I I do like this game. I think it's the map. The map's way smaller, definitely, um, than Fallout 3 and, and New Vegas. I mean, it's way smaller. Now, if you count the underwater parts, yeah, it might be a little bigger. But, there's no DLC yet. So until the deal, when the DLC comes, then we can kind of get a you know a better understanding of how much bigger the map might be. I mean the map is it's, it's fairly large, but I mean I can walk across it pretty quick. Fallout Three, it would take. I mean I could walk from one corner of the map to the other. Yeah, I mean easily, but it would take an hour or so of in of of real life time, of real time. In the game, it would take, you know, a couple days, but in reality, it would took, it didn't, you know, it took an hour, hour and a half. In this game, it takes maybe, maybe 30 minutes to get from one side of the map to the other. I mean, it's not, it's not that, it's not as big as, as uh, Fallout 3 was. That's kind of my only complaint with this game, is it's not, the map's not as large. I wish it was a lot larger. Um, oh, and I, over there I've got my water purifier, that's the industrial sized one, and I've got the uh, wind turbine there powering it, because I don't need uh, my generator there then. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, walk, we'll just run over here real quick to Red Rocket. Ooh, something chewed on that, okay, that's those are still there. Those were there at the beginning of the game. Uh, I kind of find that funny. Those were there right at the beginning. Um, here at Red Rocket, I got dog meat. I've got the that thing. I've got this milk vending machine kind of blocking the door. Just because I was well, I had somebody getting ready to attack, and yeah, I've um, got kind of like a workshop here. Oh, I've got all the same same things here that I've got at Sanctuary. I don't think I have a bed here, though, yet. I don't have a bed here yet. Um, but otherwise, I've got pretty much everything I had at uh, Sanctuary. Um, let's see here. I don't know. Is that a light? Is that light still working? Or is that just... Okay. Wow, that's kind of... Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you like me, if you like it, and I'm out. Peace.